It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got another beer from More Beer Company, and this is from the from the vaults. This is a limited release barrel aged beer, but it's their Calvados Old Ale, aged in Calvados barrels for twenty four months, two years, two years. Everybody, that is just. Incredible, isn't it? Two years barrel aged beer in the UK. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I reviewed the yellow labelled uh, version of this just yesterday, right here in the bar. And it's interesting because if a bigger brewery was to produce a barrel aged series of beers, then they might get one big batch of beer and then they might split that base beer that they've produced into different barrels and then they, they'll have a series of maybe a whiskey cask calvados in this case and then a, <coughs> pardon me another beer another another barrel maybe a, a rum barrel or something like that so they got one big base beer and they put that base beer into three different st different barrels but not the case here from what I can see, anyway, not the case. Um, so the, the, the yellow label beer that I reviewed yesterday, have a look at it. It was a, a two-year aged barley wine. Put in more from the vaults and you'll see it in YouTube <clears throat> if you're interested. But I know it's a different beer because that beer was 10% ABV. That, that barley wine was 10% ABV. This is... 8% ABV. So it's definitely, definitely not just one big base beer that they've produced and split it into different barrels. This is this is a, another beer that's been brewed and they've aged it in barrels. And I find that really impressive. Excuse me, normally I've got the beer open by now into a glass and, and whatnot, but I find that really impressive from more beer company that they've They've really dug down into the detail of, of, of brewing. It's not lazy brewing. Now, barrel aging is not lazy. I shouldn't use that word lazy, but it's not. They didn't have that temptation to brew one big batch of beer and then separate that beer into different barrels. They actually brewed a different beer, a different base beer, and put it into the, these Calvados, <coughs> Calvados barrels. It's an old ale. So what I imagine, what I imagine that they've done here is that they've used their fantastic old Freddie Walker and they've banged it into a barrel. So with that, with that said, with all of those things said, let's get it out. Into a glass and see what we get. Yeah, this is Freddy. Oh, oh this is all Fred. I'm pretty sure. Excuse me if I'm wrong, but I believe that this is going to be a Calvados barrel aged old Freddy Walker. Because old Freddy Walker is 8% ABV. Oh, 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 oh. This could be very, very good. We've got a one finger tan coloured head. It's a jet black beer in the glass, little bit, little amounts of slow moving carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. I'm going to get the aroma. It's Friday morning in the UK. It's currently 9.49 a.m. I'm looking through the window at the microwave in the kitchen. 9.49 a.m. On a Friday, I love a Friday. And what a fantastic way to start your day. <laughs> with a with, with, with a barrel aged old Freddie Walker. Rum, fig, prune, raisin. touch of coffee 
vanilla, loads of wood, loads of oak, loads of wood, loads of those kind of tannings from the wood. Now I'm going to ask you, because I'm not going to stand here and pretend I know everything in the world, because I don't know everything in the world. My comment to you, or my question to you, if you can comment, is Calvados. Uh, what type of spirit is Calvados? Is it rum? Sounds like rum, doesn't it? If I'm wrong, it might be, it might be whiskey. I don't know Calvados. I'm not really a spirit person. So if you can just help me out in the comments box, if you can just pop a comment down at let me know which what is Calvados, and I would very much appreciate that. Oh, it's fab though. Wait no more, can I? Shakespeare. Wait no more, can I? <laughs> Chocolate on the last bit of the nose there. Cheers. That is fantastic, absolutely fantastic liquid. Oh, I love Fridays. Apps, I'm right in the mood, I'm right in the groove now. Right in the groove. Love Fridays. How do you make your Friday better? even better than it already is with a barrel aged old ale that has got plum and fig and prune and it's rich and it's toasty and there's wood oak flavours the tannins from the oak and vanilla and spiciness and pepperiness a little bit of bitterness roasted malt flavours coming through chocolate coffee caramel That is a dream, an absolute dream. I can hear the birds singing outside, the sun starting to break through. It's a Friday, it's magical, magical beer in my hand. I think you've got to like, for me personally, you've got to grab these small moments in life. You know when you feel really good? I'm feeling, I'm feeling really good this morning. This morning, I still got this horrible chesty cough thing. I don't know what the hell. I've had it all winter. It's like, won't go away. <coughs> Mr. Magpie's coming to the garden now. So we've got a magpie in the garden. But <clears throat> I think this is an important part of the beer review. And it's probably something that should be touched on a little bit more in life, I think. You know them, like, you know where you're peaking in terms of, like, how happy one can be? You're peaking. You know it's a Friday. You know it's the end of the working week. You've got a terrific beer in your hand. The sun's starting to shine through. I've got a really good feel-good factor about where I am right now in this moment. In this moment. And I think you've got to grab those moments in life. You've got to grab when you're feeling like this, when you're feeling great. You gotta grab them and smile and enjoy and because you don't always feel like this, do you? Let's be honest. Um, especially in 2022, 2023, where we are now, it's like pretty bleak at the moment, isn't it? All round like bleakness. But shards of light, shards of light, shards of happiness. Grab all of it, smile, enjoy. Enjoy life while you can. That is wonderful. That is absolutely wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful beer. It really is. 
I, I'll, I'll admit, I wasn't a massive fan of the yellow labelled, um, the, the, the barley wine that, the, from the vaults from Moor Beer Company. I wasn't really a fan of that. I thought that um, maybe there might have been a small infection, which is always a risk when you barrel age. You, you're pouring liquid into barrels and there's always a very small risk of that. And I think it's unfortunate that that happened. But next day, next day standing here with a with, with, with a slightly different, well, say slightly different, a different beer from Moore Beer Company, but a barrel aged beer. And it's tremendous, absolutely tremendous. I'm going to rate it. I'm going to rate it. Looks good, smells good, tastes absolutely wonderful. The raisin coming through in the aroma is just terrific. Oh, Stone the Crows, everybody. Stone the Crows, that's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.